there are nautical society. There's a recycling truck. Pretty much everyone on our street puts their recycling bin out every week. I reckon it's because most people these days know it makes sense to think about the effect we have on the environment. It's not that hard to make changes so that we use up less of the Earth's resources and make the most of the ones we need. It's like, you probably know, or I bet your mum and dad remind you, that it's better to walk than to use the car all the time. As well as keeping you fit, it means that less petrol is needed. Petrol will run out one day, and the exhaust isn't great for the planet either. Lots of good reasons to stretch your legs. But there are things that use a bit more fuel than your car. Ships, for example. Or what about... Planes! They use huge amounts of aviation fuel to get into the sky. Just like the petrol we use in our cars, aviation fuel also comes from fossil fuels and its exhaust emissions are just as harmful. There's one other similarity. Aviation fuel will also run out one day. Luckily, there are loads of cool discoveries being made into alternative fuels. So when you think of drilling for fossil fuels, what sounds might you imagine? Maybe something a bit like that. Fossil fuels come from seams deep underground. It takes a lot of work to get them out. The first type of alternative fuel starts life a bit differently. It might sound like this. It's a farmer's field. What's this got to do with aircraft? Well, it's all about biofuels. Biofuels can be made from oils contained in crops like soya beans or canola. There's a common type of biofuel called biodiesel that's already commonly used in cars and trucks. Making it work okay for aircraft is taking a little bit more experimentation. Although some biofuels are in use on some commercial planes. Just think, next time you fly away on holiday, your airplane might be powered with beans! <laughs> Not quite like that! The big advantage of biofuels is that they're renewable. You can grow fields and fields of crops as often as you like. A disadvantage, though, is that you need land to grow the crops, and that land might be better used to grow food to feed us, or to keep cattle on. And the emissions, that's the chemicals in the exhaust, still aren't great for the planet, even in biofuels. So what else could we use to power planes? What about gases? There are several chemical gases that the Earth is going spare or are easy to make. Some, like hydrogen, ethanol and propane, could be used to power planes. But we don't, or only very rarely. So why not? Hydrogen burns really cleanly, so there aren't the same dirty emissions, so you'd think it would be on top of everyone's list. Well, at the moment, planes just aren't built to run on these fuels, and there's also a funny problem with hydrogen. As it burns, it produces water vapour. What do you get when you have water vapour in the sky? Rain! It's weird to imagine, but that's a real problem with using hydrogen as a fuel. It could actually produce more clouds. You can see it's a tricky problem to solve. All over the place you can see alternative ways of making energy like solar panels on buildings, to windmills. There are even charging points for electric cars in some cities. But aircrafts can't use any of these. Some people think that the way to make a difference is to go back to the drawing board and just design better planes. And quite a bit of work has been done already. Ultra-fuel efficient engines can cut emissions by a half and planes can go hundreds of miles further before they need to top up. And what's more, they're quieter too. If you live near an airport, that would be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? Noise is a type of pollution too, after all. Some engineers are even taking some tips from some very special flying experts. Birds! When you see flocks of birds in flight, you might notice that they are very often in a B formation. They do this because it saves energy. It takes less effort to fly in the slipstream of something that's in front of you. It's thought that if planes could fly in formation, then they'd use less energy too. It would look pretty cool too, wouldn't it? Looks like the recycling truck is on his way and it's time for me to fly. See you soon and chocks away. Amy's Aviation, with support from the Royal Aeronautical Society. Find out more about aviation at funkinslive.com forward slash aviation.